everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I have something a little bit different. Um, this was just sent to me and I thought I would open it with you guys. It's a subscription box called Created With Love and it's basically a date night subscription. Um, every month there is a different theme and uh, so yeah. It's $19.95 a month but they do have other options available if you want to get the family involved as well. But this one in particular is for date night. I haven't opened it yet so we're going to open it together. This one says you and me in Yosemite. I have been to Yosemite. I used to actually live in California and so I've been to Yosemite a few times. I really, really loved it there. Um, but I am more of an indoor girl, so I'm hoping this isn't like camping related. But I mean, let's let's figure it out. So let's open this together and see what is in here and see if it's worth the $19.85. I mean, usually if you are wanting to do something date night-ish, it's going to be worth it to connect with your, your significant other, your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whatever. Um, so let's see what we've got here. We've got this here. It is a pamphlet here. Should I look at it now or should I look at the stuff inside? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I just saw something. So this is a little pamphlet. It says, welcome to your Yosemite adventure. It has something to do with ghost stories. I like ghost stories. Um, S'mores, Shelter Me, and Our Loves Map. Oh, that's really sweet. Okay, so I'm not gonna really go deep into that. This here says, ghost stories, do not open until you've read instructions. I guess I won't open it until I read the instructions. We have some little star stickers. We have a map. Love takes you to unexpected places and love brings you home. So there's a US map on the, that side and the world map on the other. There's a little thing here that will correspond with the stickers that we got. So you can place stickers on important places for me, important places for my husband, significant to our relationship, where we've been and where we want to go. So that's very cool. I know where I want to go. I want to go right here. That right there is Great Britain. My husband's family is actually from England, and so we've always wanted to go. We've never been, so that's where I put my first sticker. That's really cute, this little map. There's this. Congratulations on earning the bear badge. The bear badge applauds you both for successfully finishing your You and Me Yosemite box. You've swapped stories, increased your survival expertise, and have become expert shelter bu builders. Congrats. So there's a little button right here. It's a little badge, and it's got like a, it's, it's, Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, sweet. And then there's a little question on there. That's very cute. Oh, what it? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, okay, here we go. I don't know what these are for. I'm gonna have to refer to the first booklet. It's a bunch of popsicle sticks. Oh, you know what? I bet I know what this is for. This is for creating some sort of like little mini shelter together. It's a game. Test your knowledge of the forest, but will also bring your test expertise into shelter bit building. Take the trivia cards and separate the categories by color and create four stacks. Each player grabs one bag of shelter crafting sticks. Player one must blindly draw a stick and have player two draw the top of the card of the category that responds to the stick's color. Have them ask a question back. If they get it right, they get to keep the stick. But if they get it wrong, player two gets to keep the stick. If you draw a truth or dare, you can only keep the stick if you do the dare or answer the truth. If you don't, your partner gets to keep the stick. And then you craft your own shelter. Let's open these. Let's find out what these little cards say. You know, it's funny that this is all like survival things because my husband and I have been like binge watching Naked and Afraid. Love that show. Love it. All right. So we have Survival 101, Truth or Dare, National Park Trivia. I don't know a whole lot about National Park. So he, my husband will probably win on that. And Animals of the Forest. I do know a lot about animals. All right. So... Survival 101. How long can your body go without food? One week, two weeks, or three weeks? So I already know the answer to this. It's three weeks because uh, basically it's three hours for shelter, three days for water, three weeks for food. That's how long you can survive. Thanks to Naked and Afraid. That's how I know that. Truth or dare card. Truth. How long do you think your partner could survive in the wilderness? Um... I feel like he is very resourceful, so I think he can last a really long time. Yeah. 
National Park Trivia. Which national park has the largest tree? Redwood, Sequoia, or Everglades National Park? I'm gonna say Redwood because I know that redwood trees grow really, really, really tall. I used to live near the redwood forest in California, um, Smoky Bear, all those spots. I think the, uh, there's that one spot there, it's called the Odd Spot. I don't remember what it's called, but there's like a tourist trap there. Oh my God, I was wrong. It is Sequoia National Park has the long, oh, I got one wrong. All right, animals of the forest. What is special about wolf mating? They mate only once, only the alpha males mate, or they never mate again. Do you guys know the answer? It is the alpha male and alpha female are the only ones that can mate. So that is interesting. I didn't know that. So apparently if you're a wolf and you're not alpha, you're not getting any. All right, so that is that game. That's actually kind of fun. Um, there's a few other things in here. There is a little I can't open it there's a little keychain flashlight which is very cool and then there's s'more memories take your s'more memories cards and shuffle them up real good place a tech deck in between you and your partner have each person draw six cards the goal of the game is pretty simple create the most s'mores by matching one grand cracker card one marshmallow card and one chocolate card twist is you must tell a story about you and your partner using all three words on the back of the card so let's open these up and see if I can do this. All right, tell a story creating a s'mores, drawing new, three new cards after. So we need to draw a marshmallow. We need to draw a graham cracker. And we need to draw a piece of chocolate. I cannot tell a story with all of these in it. Swimming. Actually, I do have a story about this. Uh, when we lived in California, my husband and I met in Southern California, in uh, Hollywood actually. And we lived in Orange County. We lived really close to the beach. So we used to go to the beach all the time. Um, Huntington, Balboa, Laguna was like really one of our main places that we would go to all the time. So um, I had never really been past the break in the water. I used to go into the water all the time, but I'm scared of open waters. Um, and so my husband, this was before we were married, he kind of coaxed me to going out beyond the break into the ocean. And it was so much fun, but I was scared to death. I actually got caught in a wave and tumbled onto the shore. I say that I nearly drowned, but I didn't really ne nearly drown. I was fine. But um, there, there's my swimming story. And pizza, we order pizza like once a week. There you go. There's my stories. This is actually really, really cute. I am not going to read the ghost story one just because I kind of want to do this with my husband because I really like ghost stories. So I'm not going to do this one, but this does look very, very cool. Um, it's basically, um, you must keep suspense, have them open up the story number one. Person must fill in the blanks by asking your partner for words based on the description. So it is like uh, Mad Libs. So that'll be a lot of fun to play with my husband. I don't know what this is. I, it must be like something that you put the cards in to keep them or something. I don't know because they don't have a container. So I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's, it's a cup. It is a portable little cup. So there you go. There's no explanation for this other than because it is an adventure type box. That's what you need. So there you go. That is the box. I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun with my husband, actually. I kind of want to play some of these tonight after he gets home and see if we like them. But I'm sure we will. It just looks like it's really silly and it kind of gets us away from our phones and our computers, which is nice. I'm really excited for the ghost story thing. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. My husband and I have been together for 25 years. We've been together for a really, really long time. And um, so we have a lot of stories and we have a lot of, we have a lot of history and we have a lot of past. And so something like this is going to be a lot of fun because we have so much to kind of dig in with and play and, um, and I know, that the shelter one, he is going to kick my butt on because he's really good at trivia. So, so yeah, 
So there you have it. That is Created with Love. If you want to try it out, I'll give you the link down below in the description. It is not a referral or affiliate link or anything like that. It's just createdwithlove.com if you wanted to go check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, and hit those notifications so you know every time I upload something. And we will see you again next time. Bye.